see what we got here in Cappadocia. Let's step out. Oh, 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 oh. We got two balloons. We got just crazy views. If you forget where you're at, and this is your first morning here, this could be a shocker. <laughs> this is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing what's here. So we're going for a walk into Sword Valley. I'm not gonna do all of it because it's, well, it would take a century or two, it's pretty big, but we're gonna go look at some of the finer points of it. If you want in, in Gorham, you can walk down here and then take quads everywhere. You could spend a week here, just camp if you're allowed, wake up every morning, go explore a square couple of acres, just walk up to the plateau here that was an old island when this was underwater, because don't forget, well, maybe you don't know, tens of millions of years ago, this was underwater. This was a giant lake. And then Turkey rose up, the volcanoes came, filled it up, the water drained away. And then we can actually see, there's Ushusar Castle. That's where we came from, sort of. Now it's time to go down from this rise and I can't believe it, but we actually came up that. That is at least a 45 degree angle. Without the right shoes, you will never make it down. So now we get to choose which way we decide to slide down. This is gonna be a real adventure. There's a little adventure. He just cut through that grass. And here comes, I'm gonna guess his brother. <laughs> He's just gonna go right through the grass. He knows nothing about snakes and scorpions, but he's not stupid about spiky plants because there's a lot of spiky plants here. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh boy, watch out. Move out of the way in case I have to run. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and now we're going to go around the hill. So let's go this way. There you go. Nice Turkish. She's probably going to tell me no drones. So we were just told in mostly Turkish to go this way because Rose Valley is this way. And we were just up over that rise. And now we're going to walk down this valley. And I think I saw a trail over here. Oh, right below our feet. We're going to take this path and see where it leads. And... The footing's not too bad here. We can go up that way, or, or yeah, I think this way might be best. Uh, you could just spend days, absolute days here, exploring. And while we're here, let's check out some flowers. Pretty little flowers. We're coming up on Rose Valley. Remember, out here in the wild, there are no safety rails. So always watch your step because you take one more and it's gonna hurt. So be careful, okay? But this is Rose Valley. We can see there's farming down here. There's roads. There's house caves, I can see. Okay, way down there. Again, people might have been living here just 50 years ago, 50, 60 years ago because of the caves, uh, the climate inside the caves, and the, of course you can hear the ATVs. I mean, right behind us, of course. One of the reasons they call this Rose Valley is because the rose color of the sediment fill at the base of that ancient island, because again, this was once all water. And the funny thing is, directly behind me is our hotel. Let's take a look. Can you see it from here? There's Uchisar Castle. I can see our hotel. Maybe when I zoom in, there's the, I can actually see the minaret. And I know we're to the right of the minaret and you may have to stop and zoom in to see that. But our hotel, I believe, is probably in the center, right there, the Devon Cave House. So we wanna to get to that big rock. I'm just gonna head down here a little bit. Let's just take a quick scout ahead. Let's see where it goes. Ooh, get much of your footing. <laughs> There's like, I don't know, 
with their gopher holes. They have um, marmots or martins here. That's what he said. So I think this just goes around. These look like grapevines almost. In Turkey, they're so good at farming. Absolutely amazing farming. Oh, looks like dead end and a fireplace. This looks like an absolute beautiful place for a campground. But there's no going further that way without a lot of <laughs> blood, sweat, tears, probably mostly blood. So we're not gonna go that way. And that is solid rock, it's ash deposits. It's solidified throughout the volcanic activity. But we wanna work our way back around to there and go into some of the caves. All right, we're going up. Up we go. I think it's already up here. This should be the highest point in the valley. And it is incredible up here. We're going to see how the Hover Air X1 does in a breeze. Hopefully it doesn't disappear to my left as the wind is blowing. Lights a left. It's blowing that way. Let's see what it does. Going to come up the rise. Let's see what we got. You always watch that last step because the last one is the one that gets you. Whoa. This is cool. I'm not going out there. <laughs> I'm not going out that way. No. <laughs> All right, we want to go this way. And maybe not. So we're about up as high as you can go in this valley on this side. We're not climbing up that <laughs> over there. We're gonna maybe go inside. We're gonna find our way down and around. We're gonna head over there in Rose Valley. And you could just see these formations. If you see the people way down there, you could get a good feeling of how big these upheavals are that are millions of years old. I can see cave houses from here. If you see them to the left of those people, they're there. There's the people and the cave houses, so you can see where they're at. So you can see at the top, there's a little hat on that ferry dome. And if you need refreshments in La Valley, you've got the van here. And it looks like, I think he stays there all day. He probably sleeps up here by the looks of it. And I think there's some horses I saw some tie-offs so they probably got horses although i'm not one for riding horses and donkeys on the edge of valleys you may be brave enough i'll poke my head into dark places and things that don't look normal this guy's coming for it look at him go he's gonna go up the hill there he goes he is one brave dude don't realize He's experienced. That's cool. This is just absolutely amazing. I, I keep forgetting that we are inside an ancient caldera. And all of this area was just lava. I mean, if you know anything about calderas, this is not one of the biggest ones on the planet, but I'm sure it's fairly sizable. I'm sure it ranks up there. But you can see the evidence of what's left behind millions and millions of years later. And then this was all filled in with water. And the water took away all the soft stuff and left what we're seeing now. Then people came by. They lived here, are still living here eventually. Maybe not. And then in another 10 million years, this will all change again. Film at 11, right? And what I'm looking at straight ahead here, let's see if you can see this it's pretty far away. See that hole? Those sure look like those were steps going up. Absolutely amazing that people did this stuff and lived in these. There's a person way out there to give you an idea of the size and the distance. All right, tell me this does not look like the lower jaw of some gigantic carnivore huge carnivore he'd be like about a mile long if those are his two incisors and those are his two bottom well row of bottom teeth 
Just use your imagination. What do you think this is? Leave a comment below. Off we go. We're gonna go across the field and go check out somebody's ancient houses. And let's see what we have. And hopefully this isn't too slippery. All right, let's go. We're gonna keep an eye out for snakes because we actually drove down a road like this. I'll leave that description in the video. You can check out what happens when you come across closed roads in the middle of nowhere. I just think a thousand years ago, people were probably walking through a similar area like this. Plants are probably still about the same. There's probably a bit of water. Although this looks like an old farming field right here. That actually looks like that actually was farmed fairly recently, within a couple years, probably five to 10 years, because in Turkey, they are very efficient with their arable lands. There are snakes in the area. We were told they do not have many poisonous ones. We are definitely walking a path back into the past. Here comes some horses, see? They're just coming down the path. Some people are going up the path. And this is tourist season, and there's not that many people, which is kind of nice. I got a feeling again on the weekend, there's probably quite a few people. So, hello. Hi. And we follow another path up the hill. So it's got a little bit more grass to it. All right, let's go, come on, up. Turkey, my new nickname, is the land of a trillion steps and stairs and angles and just amazing stuff. This is just really cool. And this is somebody's front yard of what looks like a mansion. This is just really, really cool stuff. They have bars. Either it means somebody was living here. I see wood, actually. So I think somebody was here. There's, it looks like glass. There's some lizards up here. You can see a little guy up there. Let's see about going in. Let's see. There's some electrical. Oh, huh. people were living up here. Very cool. For you geologists, leave me a comment what you think this is made out of. I got a feeling it's there's some iron in this based on the browning. I'm watching my step as we go here. I see lizards. I love lizards, they're everywhere. See, he checks me out, I'm checking him out. Hello, buddy. He's just hanging out, checking me out, like a cat looking for food. So anyhow, let's get back to the iron. So what do you think? Is that iron, ferrous? There's cracking in here. I mean, eventually this is all gonna start crumbling down over time. But this was definitely somebody's business or a house. I mean, it's just, there's wiring. I see conduit holes. This actually might have been an old cafe restaurant. It's got that feel for it because of this flatness up here. I see no remnants of tables or chairs. But again, there's a lot of wiring and it looks fairly recent, probably within 20 years anyhow. But this, what a view for a restaurant. Bring the ATV people up here and just absolutely amazing. Again, you can see the field we walked through. We walked through that path. And guess what? Stairs going up. I don't know. Let's see. I'm just going to poke my head because you know me. Oh, I don't think I'm going to fit through there easily. Let's just take our time. This is all, this is not collapse. This is just, this is put here on purpose. Look out, snakes and spiders and lizards and whatnot. Let's see what we can do here. Looks pretty tiny uh, and pretty dark. I think it's a spiral staircase actually. <laughs> I am not gonna go up there. That's a little too tight even for me. Uh, pretty daring, but not without a light. That's uh, definitely not safe to do. All right, here again. We're gonna start making our way back because it's starting to get pretty hot out. We're gonna walk through the, I don't know what that was, the checkout zone. 
with more lizards. <laughs> Little baby lizards everywhere. We're gonna take this path down. Oh, this was definitely a business. Yeah, there's the stairs going up. I'm sure you, you take your life in your own hands, but this was definitely a business. Absolutely a business. And that would be the upper floor. This looks like absolutely amazing. You need weeks here. All right, so that's enough of Rose Valley and the scenery. We're gonna head back now. So we're gonna follow that path down through there, across there, back that way, and then head back to the big flag if you can see it, and back towards Ushashar Castle and then our hotel. So I think it's about three and a half to four kilometers from here, maybe more. So thanks for watching. Make sure you watch the video that's on your screen next because there's more adventures on paths to the past, present, and future. See you soon.